about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Sandra. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to do um, a makeup look using a palette that is one of my very first palettes that like my professional palettes that I've owned. Um, it's going back a little bit and I wanted to use Jeffree Star's palettes and play around a little bit. So I'm going to go back to blood sugar. I mean, this has it's one of my staples. I don't use it all the time anymore. I'm really into Natasha Denona palettes for some reason. Um, but I figured, you know what? I haven't used anything by Jeffree Star in a really long time other than concealers. And I was using concealers the other day and I thought about it. I'm like, hey, I forgot about this palette and this palette is great. So I'm going to use it tonight. So, um, and actually I was thinking about using like the yellow banana palette, but the reason why I'm doing the red one is because I want a dark smoky eye. And I feel like with this palette, I can achieve that. So I have um, already moisturized. My skin is feeling really nice and dewy. I'm going to go in with my primer, the one size secure the glow. Um, I used this last time and you know what? It seemed to work really, really well. Um, but I have also been going a little bit lighter on my makeup. I've been using my sponge to blend out my foundation and I feel like that's really um, helped my makeup like it shears it out so it's not like a really over thick cover and I think that's what I'm loving right now okay so hydrating my skin is hydrated I am primed and ready to go Okay, I'm going to take my damp sponge and I'm going to go into my foundation. I'm going to jump over to the House Labs one today, um, the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. This one is 190 Light Cool. I've Lately, I've been um, really loving my makeup forever, but it's a little light, so I'm going to go in with this one today. Okay, I will be right back after I finish blending this out product around my nose for covering up the veins. So next, before we go in with um, powder or anything like that, I want to do eyebrows. I'm going to do that step off camera. I, I will return in just a minute. All right, guys. So I think I'm ready to... I think every other product I'm using right now is like a powder formula. So I think I'm ready to go ahead and powder. So I'm just going to blend out... My forehead a little bit that's just my expression line area because it's really difficult to keep that in line i'm going to use the other pointy side of my sponge just to do under my eyes just a tad here now i'm going in with my puff this is from tati beauty but you can i saw them at like shoppers and uh, just any old drugstore so they have like small ones i do have a small one too but i'm going to use the large one right now so I'm going to take some powder and press under my eyes. I'm not um, smooth, like smearing it. I am pressing. I'm going to do this all over. I don't need to set my makeup on the outside of my face as much because, um, well, it will wear off. It just doesn't, uh, it's always a little drier out there. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with my powder brush, take a little bit more powder. This is a last minute step that I just thought of, but I'm going to go into my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This is the shade Luminous Light, and I'm going to go over this as well with my powder brush and add some of this to my face. Okay, this just adds a little bit of light so it makes it look like your skin is glowing. Absolutely beautiful. I added everywhere, not just the high points. It's not really a highlighter. Okay, then we're gonna go in to bronzer. I am using the Fenty Beauty. This is the Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer in Caramel Cutie. This one, I picked I pick this one because, specifically because it does not have sparkle in it. It is a simply, simply a bronzer, it's very warm. I'm going in with a big fluffy brush, tapping it off, and we're gonna go all over the forehead. So it was supposed to be really, really nice today, and we had a lot of 
um, smoke from some grass fires that we're starting to burn here in Alberta. It's crazy. We have it every year, but it is like May 11th today and we're already experiencing that. So it's crazy. So I'm going to add this to the tops of my cheekbones, my nose. And then just blend. Okay. And then I'm going to do blush and then I'm going to spray my face before I do shadow. So blush, I'm going in to my Dior Rosy Glue blush in 012 Rosewood. I love this blush. So it's really new, fairly recent for me. Take my blush brush. Never had a Dior, Dior product before, but really, really enjoying this one. Okay, and then I'm going to set my face. So I'm going to use my airbrush Flawless by Charlotte Tilbury. And now we're going into a liner. So I always do liner before I do the shadow because I like to blend and play with the liner. I will be using black. It is um, 100 Whatever Black by Makeup Forever professional Paris artist color pencil so it looks like that and I line the water lines so I'm going to do this off camera I will be right back okay so we're going to go into the palette now and I don't know where to start I always have this problem um I know I want to stick with the red color so we're going to stay to the bottom row here and I might use some of the other ones to highlight but that's about it um so I'm going to start with um fresh meat I believe uh right here fresh meat okay, it's almost like a dark maroon color I have to be really careful here because I don't want fallout I have to be so careful so I'm going to start in the crease just starting to warm it up I'm using an E25 um, tapered blending or not tapered blending this is just a blending brush okay now I need to add some red so I'm going to go into cherry soda I'm going to cover the lid and bring that up into the crease as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go into a smaller brush and I'm gonna add some of this same shade on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take this flat brush and I'm just gonna dip the tip of it into the cherry soda to start. I'm pressing this color into the lash line here, into the liner. And we'll blend with something else. I need to need a sip of coffee because I'm exhausted. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up the mess the underneath my brow here. I'm gonna take a clean brush, I can find one. Um, and then I'm gonna go into um, sugar cane, I think, this color here. I'm gonna use this to blend out the mess that I have underneath my brow. So it's kind of turning pink, but we're gonna, uh, I think we're gonna darken things up because it is gonna be a smoky eye. It's a red smoky eye, but I want it to be a bit more intense than this. And just going in carefully. Just making sure I I have what I want here. Okay, so then I'm going to go into extraction. I don't want it to be purpley, but I want to go into this color here. So I'm going to go into that, um, maybe not this one, because I want to go back into the red after. I'll take a new brush. Let's go into extraction, maybe a bit into cola, which is this one down here. I don't know if that's purple or if it's what that is. I know it's dark. Okay, I'm adding this to the crease in the outside corner. Maybe I'll go more towards the 
um, interior of the lid here. Okay. And I also want to use um, maybe a brighter shade of red. I wouldn't mind going into this one to the lower lash line. So if I get another brush, it's really bright. It's called Prick. And we're going to use this to blend out below the eye. We're going to keep the darkness there, but just add this underneath. Okay, and then we're also going to use it up here a little bit because we're missing that red factor. I feel like it's turning a little bit more purple. Okay. Going back into that blending brush. And then what we're going to do after is put the entire lid. I'm going to use, I'm going to add some um, setting spray and we're going to put on this like shimmery metallic color. All right, guys, we're back. I think it's looking sufficiently dark. It's a really nice um, red eye. I'm going to use this small brush. I'm going to wet my brush with my setting spray. And I'm going to go into the shade Blood Sugar. It's like the main shade. This is like the red that I really love. Um, but again, I was trying to make this really dark. So I can't really tap off because it is wet. I'm just going to put this on the main part of the eye. Just so I get that red, that bright red that I'm going for. Because it's like the love, the most lovely shade that you could get. Okay, I'm putting this all over the lid. We'll add a little bit to the lower lash line. Okay, and I think I think that's it for shadow. So now what I'm going to do is line the upper lash line with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Black Liquid Liner. I'm going to put on some mascara. I have switched it up today. This is the L'Oreal Panorama Mascara in Black is Black. And I'm gonna apply lashes and I'll come back and look at lips. All right guys, lashes are done. Um, actually turned out pretty good. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlighter. This is Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood uh, Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter. This stuff is really nice. I haven't had a chance to use it that frequently, but uh, it's actually quite nice. So I'm just going to add a little bit to the high point of my cheekbone where the light naturally would hit it right here. Tip of my nose. Keep its bow. Chin between the brows. Okay, I'm also gonna go in with this on the inner corner. under the eyebrow just a little bit okay and then for the lips i'm going to put on my jeffree star uh, velour liquid lipstick in the shade i'm nude and then i'll show you what i do here so this is a liquid lip i just put on a little bit i spread it around so my lips are like pretty light And then I was going to go in with the darker one, but instead of using the dark lip liner, um, I'm going to go in with Love Bite. It's not as dark.
Okay, and then I'm going to go on with a clear gloss. So I'm thinking um, I do have other clear glosses that I like, or maybe I'll just do a cream lipstick. I don't know. I really like this one. It's Legends Only by Jeffree Star. Um, the gloss. It smells so good. Okay, so I'll take that, and I also take this one with me. It's really all I need for the rest of the night. Okay, I'm going to go in with another setting spray. And I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching this um, smoky red eyeshadow look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. If you're new, please subscribe. Click on the bell button. And I'll see you guys next time. Happy date night. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.